Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. Today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of Glam X by Christina Aguilera. This perfume launched this year, 2017, and celebrates the 10th anniversary of Christina Aguilera's fragrance line, as well as her first fragrance with Elizabeth Darden. This fragrance is described as a floral gourmand fragrance that has extreme le levels of layers that really help bring out your inner glam. And I must say this is probably one of my favorite Christina Aguilera perfumes to date. Um, all the ones pre previous that I do have are on the more floral side. And this does definitely have that floral vibe to it that all her other ones have. But it's definitely a little bit more fruity, a little bit more sweet. Um, and definitely a little bit more something I'm normally into, especially with fragrances. Um... And I just kind of love everything that goes with this. Black and gold is like my favorite color combination ever. So I really love that that's going on with this. So the box looks like this. And it says Glam, or Christina Aguilera Glam X. And it's got this floral motif going around the front. That kind of goes on either side. And then we have this ribbon that kind of goes up the front of the box. And then down the corner over here. Um, this is the uh, 2 ounce 60 milliliter Eau de Parfum. This fragrance comes in this size as well as a 1 ounce, but there is no 3.4 ounce, um, which doesn't bother me actually because most of the Christina Aguilera perfumes, um, up until a Touch of Seduction, actually were in that kind of same genre. I know that they end up releasing a 100 milliliter of Secret Potion, but most of them, the highest milliliter you got was that 2 ounce or 2.7. So, and then the back, you just have an outline of the bottle. And a really cool thing is this bottle is very metallic and it does hold your fingerprints on it. That's just something I noticed about it. And your bottle looks like this this time and is gold, but it's not a solid gold, which I like. It's kind of a see through gold. It's got that same floral lace motif on the front of the bottle. And then down here on the bottom it says Christina Glare Glam X. And you got a clear lid with the gold sprayer. So I really, really, really do like this fragrance. Um, it is a, it's definitely more winter-y, I would say. But it definitely could be worn all year round. So top notes of this fragrance are Mandarin, Caramelized Peach, Star Anise, and Orange Blossom. Middle notes are Freesia, Lily of the Valley, Heliotrobe, Jasmine, with the base notes of amber, musk, sandalwood, and benzoid. So, when you first spray this, I get a little bit of the mandarin, but that caramelized peach is definitely, you can tell it's caramelized because you get the peach note to it, but there's almost a vanilla-y caramel edge to this fragrance that's very, very different, um, and not something I've seen done in very many fragrances. The Star Anise adds a little bit to this fragrance, but it's not overly powering, overly powerful and super duper like out there like it, sometimes it is in fragrances. And the Orange Blossom, I feel like adds a little bit of floralness to this heart, the, t the top of the fragrance, but isn't overly floral um, and battling out. It lets the Mandarin and the Caramelized Peach complement each other really well and kind of gives them a floral back to fall on. Um... Freesia, Lily of the Valley, Heliotrope, Jasmine. It's definitely kind of a bouquet floral. Um, you get a little bit more Jasmine and a little bit more Lily of the Valley than the other two. I definitely do get the Heliotrope, though. Heliotrope is a very rare note that's put in fragrances. It's not put a lot in fragrances. And when it is, it just makes that fragrance so much better. And I really, really love the Heliotrope. It just adds this amazing floral slightly sweet, slightly floral, slightly... If you've ever smelled a heliotrope flower, they're uh, such a beautiful fragrance, and whenever it's added to a fragrance, it really brings it to that next level. And I feel like it just makes this fragrance so much better with it having the heliotrope in the heart. And it's really well balanced. Um, it's definitely not the standout, you know, floral. Um, I don't feel like any of them are too standout. Lily of the Valley is probably the most standout, 
but they're definitely a floral bouquet and they all complement each other really well. As it starts to dry down though, you're definitely going to pull that amber. I get the musk, I get the sandalwood, but the amber is definitely that standout, um, you know, mix. And the benzoid helps that. It really is kind of an ambery, vanilla y That caramelized peach from the top blends itself down and you're really getting a sweet gourmand floral fragrance and it's not overly floral. I know that some of the previous Christian Aguilera perfumes have been tendency to be overly floral. And this definitely is more mature. Um, and I definitely do see how it marks the 10 year anniversary of her fragrance line. But definitely does have this confidence aspect that I know Christina was going for with this fragrance. That I just feel like was hit nail on the head with this fragrance. Because it's really well, really well rounded. And you can definitely tell that she put a little bit more time in this fragrance than some of her previous ones. And I don't know if that's the partnership with Elizabeth Arden that she had did, or the fact that it's been over a year since she released Touch of Seduction. So she really, really took time to work on Glam X. And I think it really, really shows in the fragrance, just because it's definitely different from anything she's ever done, but still the fragrance fits in her fragrance empire, and it's not like completely different um if if that makes sense at all it's not like how believe is different from all the other britney spears fragrances but if you were to take the name off it you wouldn't have a britney spears fragrance this one if you took the name off of it and had somebody smell different fragrance families i feel like this would still fit in the christian aguilera fragrance empire um it's just definitely a new direction and I love it because it keeps the DNA from that the Empire while being its own standout by itself. Um, lasting power, it lasts about eight hours, not gonna lie, it definitely does have a really good lasting power. And it has a good sillage, but it's not too like out there. Um, it definitely is a little bit more mature fragrance, I would say upper twenties. Um, definitely not something I would see a high schooler wearing, but as I've said previously, fragrance to me doesn't have an age range, but I definitely feel like marketing wise, this definitely would go more toward upper twenties to someone who is Chris currently Christina Aguilera's age. So there you guys go. There is my review of Christina Aguilera's Glam X. As always guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, Ava S. Perfume, and Instagram, I'm on the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. And if you guys want to, you guys can always message me there, Instagram, Twitter, or also on Fragrantica, where I'm Orion Leo. As always guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.